agriculture accounts for about 24% of Kenya's GDP with an estimated 75% of the population depending on the sector either directly or indirectly. The horticultural subsector of agriculture has grown in the last decade to become a major foreign exchange earner, employer and contributor to food needs in the country. The sector is, however, largely labor-intensive with little or no investment in technology. Migotio Farm is a 7,000-acre horticultural farm in the Rift Valley province of Kenya and it grows cash crops for export. Its main challenge lies in trying to manage pest and disease outbreaks through a manual and time-consuming system. An estate like this one, first the vastness of uh, operations, let's say something in Sisal, uh, you have to go maybe 15 kilometers within the same area. People are out there, you have to understand what they're doing, you have to control what they're doing. The other one is uh, the accuracy of the information you also want to, to get based on uh, the various parameters we are measuring in various crops. Lack of technology contributes to the barrier in the communication in the sense that there are some operations that are very delicate and they have to be communicated on time for you to come up with a spray program on time. If that fails to be done, then you lose the clock. Scouting for pests and diseases is done manually. A person will have to go all around the field, and the fields are equally big. If we could have a solution whereby the same, same time the information is relayed to us, it's possible to act in good time. With the world moving into the information age, what can be done in the main sectors of the economy in order to meet production targets as well as adhere to quality standards? As an innovative product, it's the first of its kind, I'd say, in the world. It gives the grower control. What empowers you here is information. And it makes my life much easier. Precision crop protection is a technology-based pest and disease monitoring and controlling system. This locally produced solution eliminates the manual processes involved in troubleshooting potential problems in a farm. The technology, based on a palm-top computer, allows for the detection, reporting and control of potential problems in minimal time. It was developed by Scarab Solutions and Virtual City with the support of Microsoft. Scarab Solutions started three years ago, uh, doing research on what it would take to come up with an automated pest and disease management system, where we start with the data collection in the field, which is directly electronic data entry with GPS connected to it, so that all the records on pests and diseases in a greenhouse or in a field is accompanied with a GPS stamp and a time stamp. That tells us where exactly the problem was recorded and also tells us when, when it was recorded. Then these data are then submitted for analysis and that can take place either directly from the field or the greenhouse via the mobile phone network or from a computer on the farm where the data is submitted via the internet. And then very quickly after the submission, a report is actually back in the production manager's computer where he can see the maps for all the houses that were scouted that day, see what problems he has, where they are in the greenhouse, how much there is, and he can go in and target spray his uh, sprays immediately. There are about 37 flower farms in the country. Nini Farm and La Moma Farm were the first to adopt this technology that has seen a significant improvement in productivity, flower quality and employee motivation. I take my PDA, go to the farm, do my work. The manager is doing some other important things for the development of the farm. So we have, at the end of the day, we have achieved something because he did not keep on following me. As the scouts walk around in the house, where they meet a problem, they note it at that point. The information is analyzed through Scarab. Later on, they send to us an email of a map impression, giving us a spatial distribution of the pest and disease problems in that house. It enables us to identify the exact areas 
where there's a problem by either choosing an intervention method that can be cultural, biological, or if the case be extreme, chemical. We can spot spray very quickly, which means that we use far less chemical than we ever did before. We can locate the focus of the pest rapidly and knock it out of the way very quickly. Um, it's an incredibly good management tool, so at the end of the day I have a map of the farm and I know where all the problems are on the farm and I know if they're, Im they're improving or they're getting worse. The function of the software is ideally moving away from a paper-based system into an, an electronic system. And the general functions of it are when you look at a plant um, within a greenhouse, how you're able to analyze any pests and diseases. And what you do is you look at it from the roots all the way until the leaves. Um, and going through that plant, you're able to pick certain pests and diseases. With the EU becoming more and more strict on their import regulations, there's a zero tolerance for sending pests into the EU. So we're not allowed to send a single insect into the EU by mistake. With Scarab, we know exactly where the insects are and we can make sure that we don't harvest in any area that's been affected by an insect that we're not allowed to ship out. The participation of Microsoft in making the precision crop technology available partly fulfills its objectives in the Unlimited Potential program. Under the program, Microsoft is committed to making technology more affordable, relevant and accessible to more people who barely enjoy the benefits around the world. As a company, we are here to make available the tools that are required for them to then develop the application step. We, we create the platform, so we have the platform, the development platform. It empowers workers with information, with appropriate technology, with decision-making abilities, and hence fosters a culture of innovation. With this system, the scouts don't go out with a piece of paper. They go out with a pocket PC and do direct electronic data entry. And as soon as they, they are through with the data collection, the data are submitted for analysis. The analysis is very, very fast, and it's returned to the grower within an hour and he then has the instant, right now, scenario of this pest and disease outbreak. And he can go in the very same day and control it before it even uh, starts changing. We as a team, we feel that everybody is important in this way of scouting. When they came in, we found that we had started by training our employees. And the training involved the scouts, it involved the senior staffs, it involved the directors and the farm managers. Direct financial savings of using Scarab have been a reduction in chemical costs of approximately 200,000 shillings a month or between two and two and a half million kind of shillings a year. There are, however, many hidden benefits to the use of Scarab, not least the culture of excellence and the culture of control that one sees on a farm that adopts this system. The maps that are sent on a daily basis to the grower uh, are a management tool enabling the grower to have control and the knowledge of exactly what is going on in each section of each greenhouse and deal with diseases as and when necessary without the old-fashioned policy of blanket spraying by spot spraying. But this is a classic example of a local company in a local environment taking on a local challenge working with you know, multinational organizations like Microsoft, but translating that opportunity into something real that has benefits um, over and above the immediate uh, beneficiary who is the farmer, as well as the environment at large. The partnership between Microsoft, Scarab Solutions and Virtual City is an epitome of how technology can be used to provide innovative solutions to challenges faced by any society or sector of the economy unleashing the unlimited potential within.